Here's my next how to make video using Wingling's dry rubs and seasonings. First thing I do when I'm making this pot roast at home is I just use the Bloody Mary Rimmer and I sprinkle a little bit of the Bloody Mary Rimmer on the pot roast because it has some coarse sea salt in it and it acts as a really good tenderizer. Okay, I put it on both sides of the pot roast. And I do believe you can do this here. without making a mess, people. Yeah, well, you can't. But anyways, so I put this on, and I'll let this sit for a little while. Okay, probably for like an hour. Back in the fridge, let it sit for an hour, and then I'll take it back out again before I put it in the crock pot. So, anyways, to fast forward, now... I don't pan sear this or do anything special with it first. All I do is season it with the Bloody Mary River. So I've got the, the coarse sea salt. I put it into the crock pot and I season it in the crock pot because I want all of the extra seasonings to stay in here. This is our bone dust dry rub, okay? I put an ample amount of bone dust dry rub over the top of the pot roast. This is about a two and a half bone pound, dust. two and a half pound chuck roast. Seasoned on both sides now with the bone dust dry rub. After I do that, I put in about half of the can of cream of mushroom soup over the top, spread it around. I keep it a little bit towards the center because it's what going to be What brand do you use? Do you want to give a shout out to the brand Not you really use? really because when, I, <laughs> when they start paying me to do that, then that'll be fine. We'll talk about it some other time I guess okay it's Campbell's so anyways then I take a sweet Vidalia onion I've sliced it fairly thick I break it up and lay it on in layers over the top of the pot roast if you don't like onions you can skip this but as you'll notice over here I have the potatoes they're a Yukon gold potato that's what I just grabbed from the store. Um, I cook those separately. I don't like all the extra starch um, in with the meat. So I put a pretty good pile of onions on top. I put the rest of the cream and mushroom soup over the onions. I just kind of do it on here the best you can, you know. So it's not an exact science by any means. When this gets warm, it's all going to run down through and it's going to create kind of a, a gravy over the top of it. So that's that. Then I add my carrots around the outside. I've got baby carrots that are already cleaned and ready to go in here. Lay those in around there. Is the crock pot already on? Crock pot is on high. It smells good already. And then I take about a tablespoon, we'll call it a tablespoon, of my steak seasoning. You can see there's some red pepper flake in here, a little bit more salt. It's all kosher sea salt. I sprinkle that over the top of the crock pot. It's like this. Put the cover on. It's set on high. Like I said, this is two and a half pound roast. It's like 2.6. I set it on high and I leave it there for six and a half to seven and a half hours. And that's it, it's that simple. So I just woke up from my nap because I didn't have to do anything other than wait for the finished product. Here it is.